Good morning guys and welcome to the beautiful city of Granada, Spain. I have been wanting to come visit this place for so incredibly long because it is packed full of history and it has one of the most intact medieval villages in the entire world. This place is absolutely stunning. I got here yesterday and I walked around a little bit, did some exploring and there's so much to see. There's so many compositions to be had and I am incredibly excited to photograph this city today. Now today I'm going to be shooting on the Fuji X100V, of course, tried and tested my workhorse as well as the Sony a7 IV from time to time. I love shooting with both of these cameras, so I'm going to be shooting with both today. But enough talking, guys. The sun is coming up. It's going to be a beautiful day, and I cannot wait to photograph this beautiful city. So let's get after it. Today I am shooting in the Albacine district of Granada and this place is so freaking cool guys. I am so excited to be shooting here and the reason for that is because it's a proper medieval town. It was built between the 13th and 15th centuries and that means there is very to little city planning so the streets are just wandering and weaving everywhere and you can just kind of get lost in the labyrinth and that's exactly what i've been doing there is so much history in this little village and there's so many things to explore and you can turn a corner and all of a sudden you're in a beautiful plaza and there's so many different things to photograph you know one of the things i love about these old medieval towns that don't have a structured linear grid is there's so many interesting shapes and lines that you can photograph and it just makes for such interesting compositions. You know, I was shooting in Barcelona last week and Barcelona is a beautiful city. I absolutely loved it, but it just doesn't have the same energy as a proper medieval town. Now this place is rich with history as well. And when I travel, I love to learn about the history and the culture of the region that I'm photographing. It just makes it so much more real and it makes me feel much more of a connection to my photographs. But here in the Albacine district of Granada, this was originally Moorish. So this was a Muslim area and that all changed in the late 1400s when the Christians came in and basically took it back over. But what's so cool about it is you can still see a lot of that old Islamic culture mixed with the Christian culture that we see today. You know, you turn a corner and there's a beautiful church and then there's a mosque on the other side. Now, one of the biggest sites to see in Granada is the Alhambra, which is this amazing palace fortress complex that was built in the 12th and 13th century. And it's absolutely stunning. And when the Christians came in and took it over in the 1400s, that is actually where Christopher Columbus got his royal grant to go out and explore the world, which is fascinating from a historical perspective. But I'm really loving just wandering through these streets and capturing photos and, and reminding myself of the historical significance of this place because it just makes it so much more enjoyable. Um, and I wanted to share that with you guys. As you guys can probably tell, the light is actually quite harsh out here today. And that's just because it's such a beautiful sunny day and who doesn't want to be traveling in Europe on a beautiful sunny day. Uh, but the thing is, you know, when the light is really harsh like this, I don't really enjoy shooting with my Sony too much. I don't like to crush the highlights too much. I don't want to have to work with really, really hard light. In some scenarios, sure, I do like that in a commercial setting, something like that. But in scenarios like these, I do prefer soft light and I don't really like shooting with the Sony when it's so sunny like this. But I do really enjoy shooting with the Fuji. And if you guys have watched any of my other videos about the Fuji, you will know that I love this recipe called Summer by Joe Agostino. And it does an amazing thing with the highlights. It just absolutely crushes the highlights and it adds a beautiful warmth into them. And I think it just looks so, so good. So I actually really enjoy shooting 
in hard light with this camera. And I've been using this camera more than I have with the Sony on this trip uh, because I've been, you know, encountering these beautiful sunny days uh, with this hard light. And I think the Fuji, the summer recipe just does such a good job in hard light. And I'm a big, big fan of it. So if you guys want to check it out, I'll put a link down below. It's called Summer by Joe D'Augustino. And I think it's the best recipe that you can use if you're coming to Europe in the summertime. It is absolutely beautiful. I know the last time I made a video talking about the Fuji X100V, I got a lot of questions about how I shoot with this camera. I shoot exclusively in aperture priority with this camera. So I have uh, shutter speed and ISO set to A mode, auto mode, and then I just move my aperture uh, to select the depth of field. But I do keep in mind the lighting in my environment, right? So for example, if I'm shooting in low light, then I'll typically shoot at F2 or F2.8. Whereas if I'm shooting on a sunny day like this, I know that I can utilize an aperture of F5.6 or F8. And usually I'm kind of in that sweet spot um, on days like this, anywhere between F4 and F8 with F5.6 being the sweet spot, really great depth of field, the lens performs really well, and it just lets in a good amount of light. Now, because I'm shooting an aperture priority and I don't have a whole lot of control over the exposure of my image, I use this uh, exposure compensation dial like crazy. So if I'm shooting a scene and I feel like I want the highlights to be a little bit darker, I'll just go down a half stop or a full stop or sometimes even a stop and a half to make sure that my exposure is right. And on the flip side of that, sometimes I think the summer recipe looks really good when it's overexposed a little bit if the light is nice and even. So I'll overexpose by half a stop or a full stop and I think it just looks awesome. Another thing that I've done to make the Fuji more personalized to me is I use back button autofocus. I do this with all of my cameras. So I turn off focus with the shutter button. I love having a, a separate button for the shutter and for the focus because I don't wanna to have to set focus every time I shoot. I can just set focus once and then I can shoot a scene multiple times. If the depth of field changes or if I move closer or further from the subject, then of course I will refocus, but I just like having those two mechanisms separate. Uh, and I did that with the Fuji as well. And I think it works really well. If you guys wanna know more about how I have customized this camera to work for me, let me know in the comments down below and I'll certainly make a video about that. Uh, but I love this thing. It feels like a third arm to me and I can just take it everywhere I go and it captures beautiful photos. So big, big fan of this camera. Tell you guys one thing i definitely understand the significance of a spanish siesta after having been in spain for a few days now especially during the summertime the days are so long and it gets so hot in the middle of the day uh so everything closes everyone goes home and it's just time to relax and the first few days i was here in barcelona i was like no nah, i'm just gonna tough it out i'm gonna stay out all day long shoot all day uh but by 2 3 p.m i was a mess and i had to go home and rest so now i've learned my lesson i shoot in the morning i go home i take a nap I relax and then I go out and shoot sunset and then I go out to dinner. Dinner is at anywhere between 9 and 11 p.m. Uh, because the sun sets so late. But I love that about Spain. There's so much happening in the evenings and everyone's out and it's such good energy. So I'm loving the, the vibe in Spain. I love the energy here. People seem to be very happy, very outgoing, and the quality of life just seems very high. So if you guys haven't visited Spain yet, I highly, highly recommend it. It's a beautiful country with beautiful people and uh, just a really cool place to visit.
And I'm sure you guys can see behind me, but I somehow made it up to the top of this village. And I can see pretty much all of Granada from up here, including the Sierra Nevadas off this way. It's such a gorgeous, gorgeous view and the light is absolutely perfect. You can see it on my face here. Um, so I did try and shoot with my 7200 a little bit, but I think it was a little bit too late. I was trying to zone in on the city and capture some really cool compositions, but the light just wasn't there. Um, but it's still just so beautiful being up here. The people are kind of going about their day, lives are being lived, and I am just loving shooting with the Fuji. So I'm just gonna keep walking around, probably ride out the rest of the sunset up here. It's been such an epic day of shooting. I captured so many cool photos and I feel so incredibly inspired in this beautiful little village. And I'm looking forward to shooting again here tomorrow. So I'm gonna wrap up the rest of the day. I'm gonna shoot some more, um, ride out this gorgeous sunset, and uh, I'll see you guys again in the morning. Hey guys, so as you can see, I am back here in my studio in Bali. And to be honest, it just got to the point of the trip where I just didn't feel like filming anymore. Um, I figured I had shot a ton of footage. I shot a ton of photos. And while I love filming videos and I, I love talking to the camera, I also love just the purity of walking around a city with one camera and just shooting photos and the level of presence that that gives me. So I felt like I had enough footage and for the rest of the trip, that's what I did. I just walked around, I shot some more. Just with the Fuji, I really love using this camera for street photography. There's something about it that I just am really engaged with the process. And that's one of the main reasons why I'm such a big fan of this camera and also the summer recipe because I think it looks absolutely insane on European summer. So I'm really happy with how these images came out. Um, I think I shared like 60 something images in this video as well, which is insane. <laughs> And I want to know which image is your guys's favorite. So let me know which one is your favorite down below. But on the next day of the trip, I actually did wake up early and I went to the Alhambra, which is that amazing palace complex that I talked about in the beginning of the video. And this place was absolutely stunning, but it was crawling with people. Um, and if you are going to Granada, I still recommend checking it out because it is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. But it was super, super busy. And from a photography standpoint, I didn't feel like I captured a ton of compelling photos. I got some footage, but nothing crazy. Uh, but overall, Overall, I really, really enjoyed Granada and I felt so present while I was shooting in that city and I was really happy to be there. So if you guys are going to Spain, uh, definitely check out Granada. It was my favorite part of Spain. I liked it more than Barcelona and from a photography standpoint, I liked it more than Sevilla as well. But it's a beautiful region of Spain. Andalusia is amazing and I hope you guys can get the chance to go out there. But that is it for this video, guys. And if you wanna check out more videos like this one, check out my Bangkok street photography video where I walked around Bangkok's Chinatown uh, and shot with the Sony. I captured some really cool photos there. And also my Lisbon video where I was shooting with the Fuji X100V. That's a really good video as well. And if you guys do wanna see more content like this, let me know in the comments down below. I have more videos like this coming soon and I don't want you guys to miss them. But thank you so much again for watching. I will chat with you guys again soon and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.